What's up, everybody? Justin here with my, again, my special boy. My special boy is joining me. He's been sleeping in my seat. Anyways, come here. This is my Impact Wrestling Hard to Kill Predictions. Come up here. Lay down. Yeah, you love me, don't you? It's purring. I love this boy. He's uh, 13 years old. So, looks like I have a co host. Finally, anyways. This is my Impact Wrestling Hard to Kill Predictions. Donald, he wants to leave. I don't know where he's going. I'm going to leave. I'm going to jump up on the table. Don't knock over the camera. Okay. This is my, again, for the third time, this is my Hard to Kill Impact Wrestling Predictions. I'm not guaranteeing that I'll do a review on it. I don't know yet because I believe my uh, Green Bay Packers will be playing in the playoffs next Sunday night starting at 5 p.m. So the game will not end till 8, 8.30. So I'll probably start watching Hard to Kill an hour 30 minutes into it but I don't know if I'll do a review because if I don't see every match I don't think I'll be doing a review I will do a reaction to Tessa versus Sammy if I see the match I'll do a reaction to it and put it on my YouTube Impact Wrestling Hard to Kill Predictions. The first Impact Wrestling pay-per-view of the new decade. Also the first Impact Wrestling pay-per-view of 2020. Up first, let's go with the X Division Championship. Ace, Ace Austin, the champion defending against... Trey Manuel. Trey Manuel, I believe, was part of the Rascals. I got Ace Austin winning and retaining the X Division Championship up next. Let's go with uh, Eddie Edwards taking on Michael Elgin. I got Eddie Edwards winning. Hopefully he wins. Rhino, yes, Rhino is back in Impact. He's been there for a while. Uh, Rhino's back on a major pay-per-view that's pretty crazy. Rhino Wrestling on a wrestling pay-per-view in 2020. Rhino versus Moose. I got Moose winning. Moose should win. Uh, Rhino, please put over Moose. Or who's, who's ever booking, put over Moose. RVD, Rob Van Dam, still one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. RVD is taking, he's a heel. Rob Van Dam is like a heel. He's kind of turned heel. It's weird. I will always like him. I always cheer for him. For him, I don't. I I will never boo Rob Van Dam. I don't care what he does. Is a heel. And yeah, he's been uh, shoving his girlfriend in everybody's face, sitting on couches, making out with her on Impact Wrestling. That still doesn't piss me off. RVD versus Brian Cage. I got Brian Cage winning. He should win. By the way, RVD, the guy still has it and is still really damn good. 
the Tag Team Championships up next. Impact Wrestling Tag Team titles on the line. The North defending against Rich Swan and Willie Mack. Should be a really good tag title match. I got... I got uh, the first title change of the pay-per-view hard to kill. Rich Swan, Willie Mack win are your new Impact Wrestling Tag Team Champions. I don't try to. Th it's uh, it's about time an uh, African American team wins the tag titles in a promotion. It needs to happen. The last. Uh, African-American tag champs in Impact when they were TNA, I think, was our truth Ron Killings and Pac-Man Adam Jones. I think that's the last uh, African-American tag champs in Impact. Up next, so the North will lose, I believe, the tag titles to Rich Swan and Willie Mack. Ken Shamrock versus Mad Man Fulton. Madman Fulton, the guy I think is part of OVE or Sammy Callahan's bodyguard or something. But now he's by himself, I think. I don't know. But Madman Fulton, the guy's like a giant. Close to seven foot tall. Take on Ken Shamrock, the world's most dangerous man. Ken Shamrock needs a win. The guy needs a win on a impact pay-per-view. He lost to Moose, I think, at Bound for Glory. I don't remember, even though I watched it and reviewed it. And then Ken Shamrock got dick flipped by Joey Ryan. I thought that was fucking ridiculous. Joey Ryan is a fucking joke to the wrestling business. I don't like the guy. I don't like his gimmick. Some, I guess, think it's entertaining. His dick flip. And pouring oil all over himself. And putting lollipops down there. That's not entertainment to me. That's like... You want to see that kind of shit? Go to a male strip club. I don't want to see it in wrestling. What Joey Ryan does. So uh, hopefully Ken Shamrock gets a victory in Impact. Ken Shamrock wins. Now up next for the Knockouts Championship. Taya Valkyrie, love her, I'm a big fan of hers. Versus Jordan Grace versus ODB for the Knockouts title. Taya Valkyrie defending. By the way, she's the longest reigning Knockouts Champion of all time. I could see Jordan Grace winning to kick off uh, 2020 with a new Knockouts champion, but my prediction is Taya Valkyrie. I'm staying with her. That she'll win and retain Taya Valkyrie, still the champ. Now the main event. First time ever, I believe, on an Impact or any any wrestling promotion in the United States, I believe this is a first time ever. For the world title, a man versus a woman for a world title for that company's world title. Intergender match for the world title. For the Impact Wrestling World Championship, Sammy Callahan defends against Tessa Blanchard. Tessa is fucking amazing. She's fucking great. I love her to death. I love watching her wrestle. Every time she's in the ring, she brings it. She does not hold back. If she's fighting a man or a woman, she brings it. Someday, I would like to see Tessa in the WWE or NXT. I just would. She would also be very damn good in AEW, I think. So, my prediction. History will be made. 
the first ever woman, I think, ever in wrestling history will be a company's world heavyweight champion. Tessa Blanchard wins and is the first ever world champion for any, uh, any major company, I think, ever that has been in existence for since 1900 and whatever it was, 1905, the first NWA champ. World Heavyweight Champ was crowned. Well, that's almost a hundred years ago. I don't believe there's ever been a women's world champion for the guy's title, for the men's heavyweight title. So Tessa Blanchard, hopefully, please impact, do it. Give Tessa Blanchard the world title. Have Tessa make history and become the first ever woman to hold the world title. Tessa Blanchard wins is my prediction and is the first ever woman to be Impact World Champion. It will be a great moment. If I do a reaction to it, I might cry. I might have tears of joy in my eyes. Because if it happens, I will be so fucking happy and probably emotional for Tessa. Hope you enjoyed my Impact Wrestling Hard to Kill predictions. It's next Sunday, January 12th on Pay-Per-View and Fight TV. I think I'm going to miss the first half of the Pay-Per-View. I'll probably miss over an hour. Because I'm going to be watching my Packers in the playoffs. I'm not sorry for saying this. My Packers in the playoffs or the Super Bowl comes first over pro wrestling. And usually, 98-99% of the time, pro wrestling is above sports. To me. Is above my Packers, above my Milwaukee Bucks, above my uh, Brewers. But when it's the playoffs or the Super Bowl, my Packers are above. This is wrestling. My Packers are above wrestling. Even if it was WrestleMania. Well, if it was WrestleMania, I'd probably have WrestleMania on my laptop and the game on my TV. But. I gotta watch my Packers. Maybe I've Impact Wrestling on my laptop because I'm ordering it from Fight TV. So I don't know yet if I'm gonna see the beginning of the first half of the pay per view. I don't know yet if I'm gonna try to watch both. But I'm just telling you ahead of time. No matter what, I'm watching my Packers in the playoffs. I don't know if I'm going to watch. want to watch uh, two things at once. I don't like doing that. 99% of the time, I do not do that. I don't do it with NXT and AEW. I do not watch them at the same damn time. I just, I don't like doing that. I do not, I do not like trying to watch two things at once. I just don't. I like focusing on one event, one thing. So uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, or don't. I don't care. I do this channel. I make videos because I love pro wrestling. That's it. I'm not making any money. I don't plan to. So hopefully you enjoy my channel and my videos. Have a great week. Hopefully you'll check out Hard to Kill. And uh, bye for now.